Hello, Susan. This is quite the interesting case here. I got DJ up, and Ashley been, and I've been going through the case up until now. So let's just talk through the uh, fiberglass impression uh, for possible Nina prosthetics. And uh, just off the bat, I'm with you on the challenges for our case here and outcome uh, concerns for the Nina itself. So I definitely love the idea that you've got here for helping to realign and give some limb length addition back to the thoracic limbs and get this kyphosis under control. Uh, so I love that goal. And I certainly love the, the opportunity that we have here. Um, boy. So what I want to start with is with the Nina prosthetic. So we've got this elbow angle that you've captured for us and and your images that i saw and the couple of video clips that you've made that show us how much elbow flexion and extension is possible um what i'm going to say here I'm, I'm holding this model so that it mirrors my view of the screen but bottom line is somehow we have to come up with an angle extension underneath i'm guessing somewhere around the proximal caudal ulna about here uh, that would get our little leg to the ground and my concern from the beginning here of this case will be shoulder flexion angle currently that dj presents which would bring a prosthetic extension almost down parallel to the radius and ulna because the ground would need to be right about here what I'm not seeing our little case do is extend that that left shoulder forward. The traditional, it's funny to say, but a traditional Nina is the radius and ulna is typically held more parallel to the ground, and then we'd have our extension coming down, something like this. But our case holds the, the leg almost vertical. So the risk with that is that we, we vacuum form and we create an extension angle somewhat based off of the humerus actually being held fairly parallel to the ground. And then we're kind of resting into the ground and the extension down this way. Well, if our case begins to extend the shoulder, that contact point to the ground will be completely off. So that brings us to the idea of an adjustable angle extension, which I think we could pull off. Uh, it just might add some some weight that we might be fighting against to do a a pivoting metal cane tip style extension that comes off the bottom, and then we just need this this radius uh, attachment where we can slowly pivot this thing out and just keep it stable. I think that's possible to do the adjustable extension length going from the vertical anabrachium and then allowing. Uh, DJ to bring the shoulder back into extension, ending up with the antibreaking horizontal. That's about a 90 degree shift. I think it's possible that we're just going to be adding some bulk and some weight uh, that might be fighting us here in the case. So looking at the rest of the media and looking at leg alignment and, and such, um, I'm going to give us uh, just a kind of best guess uh, how successful might this case be with a Nina? Uh, and I'd, I'd be leaning on 25% chance of success. And I'm saying that mainly due to the, the challenges that we've got with the left shoulder and the, the changing position that the leg may go through and where we would have to pick our extension alignment for the prosthetic extension coming down to the faux pas somewhere on the ground. Uh, and then the changing limb length that will accompany that. So I think we've got some really big questions that I don't know how to answer. Um, so I think what I'd like to do is send this to you today and have you chew on that, uh, maybe get the owners involved and see what they have to say uh, before we actually proceed fabricating or going down this road. Because we'll need to make some, you know, some pretty big design plans on how we're going to handle uh, this this presentation and this concern. So I think I'll leave it here for now. Uh, make sure we all have a good gut check on what we're actually asking 
for this prosthetic design, given the, the presentation where the Nina is not Nina, meaning DJ holds the shoulder in complete flexion and her brachium is vertical. And that's a really challenging Nina style prosthetic of both alignment and holding the socket, the shell together versus Nina would be anabrachium horizontal radius, or excuse me, humerus more vertical. That's easier to predict. We can do that all day. But the question really comes to if DJ can be changed from the vertical anabrachium to the horizontal anabrachium and regain normal shoulder function. And, I, and that, that's the 75% risk that I am just conceptualizing. I could be wrong on that, uh, but my gut tells me that's what we're up against. Okay, so I hope this helped, and we'll look forward to your feedback. Susan, have a good rest of the day, and make sure to say hi to Nat. And then also just let him know that his switch that we replaced on the grinder is still working just fine.